Melodyne Studio, defining tempos. This is Carlo Libertini. In this example, we'll take a look at how to define tempos in Melodyne Studio. Your tempo defines the pace of your project. So it's important to set up Melodyne to provide an accurate visual representation of what we sonically hear. Let's see what I mean. Here I've launched Melodyne Studio. Let's import a drum loop. I'll come up to File, Import Audio, and import a drum loop just like that. There we go. Let's take a listen. Well, I know that this drum loop is actually at 100 BPM, but Melodyne is telling me right up here that it's 120. So it's not giving me an accurate tempo reading of this drum loop that I imported. So what we're going to do today is make Melodyne work for us and correct this visually. And there's a couple methods in which we can do that. First, what I like to do is activate my click. And let's hear the difference between the 120 and the 100. Clearly that's out. Well, one way we can fix this is visually coming here to our tempo box in our transport bar and watching where the bars fall according to their beats in this loop, we can actually click in the tempo box and I can drag it down accordingly to 100. There. Now, as you can see, beat one falls on beat one, two here, and so on. We have a two bar loop. Let's take it volume down in our mixer so we can hear our, our uh, click track a little bit better. And let's play it again at 100. Perfect. So that's one way that we can get Melodyne to work for us by visually lining up our bars and beats with our loops that we're going to be working with. Another way we can get Melodyne to help us accurately represent the tempo of our drum loops is to redetect the file at the correct tempo. Let's import that same file again. And as we can see by importing it, Melodyne's telling us it's at 120 again, which we know it isn't. So by redetecting the file, what I mean is coming up to definition here in the menu bar, selecting open MDD editor, and it opens a drum loop in its own unique editor here where we can customize the detection. As we can see, it is accurately represented as percussive. What I like to do is come down to define score time. And here is where we could see once again that it's inaccurately telling us it's 120. Now, the way we can change this is very similar to how we did before. But I can double click in the, that box and just simply select 100 and hit enter and watch how the bars and measures move accordingly. There we have our two bars accurately being represented at 100 beats per minute. I close that and hit save. Now I'm going to discard this file and let's reopen it in there. Right here in the tempo box, we can see 100 beats per minute. And to prove it, let's activate our click, come down to our mixer, and let me lower the volume a little bit so we can hear the click loud and clear. And here we go. So, as we can see and hear, Melodyne is now importing and identifying this drum loop correctly at its 100 beats per minute tempo. There's lots you can do with Melodyne to help you be more creative 
and productive with your audio. And this is just some of the ways with which I always believe to make Melodyne work for you. My name's Carlo Libertini. Thanks for watching.